Sparkle Air from the City Voice, and here at City High North, we are seeing the public walkout, where everybody here is protesting the death and the killing of Patrick Vioia. There's quite a lot of people here. Protests against police brutality have swept through the nation in the recent years, and many students here today say that they would have never imagined something such as this happening to their very own community of Grand Rapids, Michigan. There was a shooting in our city. Like, we've heard about George Floyd all the way in Minnesota, but this is happening in Grand Rapids, and the next one could be one of us. You can't stop the revolution! You can't stop the revolution! The is not the solution! City students have organized walkouts on campus before, most recently being the 2018 walkout as a part of the March for Our Lives. But this is the first time city students have organized to protest racial injustice. Many here say it's about time. We want justice and we're trying to ask you for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just tired of my people going through the stuff that they're going through, you know. It's been too much me and my family members, my cousins, I got friends that went through this stuff. I'm tired. I want to know if I'm next, is my sister next, is my brother next, is my cousin next. We is tired, okay? We didn't ask to be born this way. We just want security. We want justice. We want safety. So here we are again. Uh, we halted our little walkout. And we're now letting students put down their backpacks in case they want to. And bubbling up because it is really, really cold out here. But it's going to take more than just Mother Nature to discourage students determined to make their voices heard. No matter how old we are, no matter how young we are, no matter what race we are, we can all stand together against the police brutality! That spirit of unity is strong here today with hundreds of students locking arms here in front of the school. Even with unprecedented turnout, many here today say that there is still much more to be done. We can do more, we will do more. 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 Your voice matters. You should be out here. With all this demand for change, what exactly do the students think can be done to change the policing system of America? As the Grand Rapids Police Department, what do you say we should change about it? Um, just the training and how to approach some situations, because sometimes police are needed, but not to um, promote violence or like make it worse. I think a lot of the time, especially in Grand Rapids, we see, we see things being covered up and not the right people are speaking up for it. I think we just need to like unite voices to really uncover that injustice so things can get better. the students who united everyone here today. I feel like like I needed to do it because like like people younger than me, uh, it's gonna affect them, it's gonna affect me, it's gonna affect people older than me too. Like I just I feel like it needed to happen. Even if you couldn't come today <coughs> even you couldn't come today. Um they got they got, they got um protests at Rosa Park every day at five. Uh you could uh you could sign petitions, you could you could post about it, just do whatever you can to spread it and, and, and do your part, I guess. And they need to understand that people people are scared of them. Like people going like not everybody gonna be like like super calm in that moment of getting pulled over and like they didn't under, they didn't have like police training to understand that people are scared and like you don't have to always like you don't have to do the most radical things to like like calm down situations. And that our skin is not a weapon. We can be carrying around no weapon and just because we're black then that means that we're being weaponized and we're really not. You saw kids out here from every race that came out here and not one bit were any of us threatening anyone. We are here and we're going to show up no matter what race, no matter what identification. Listen, we're going to start walking up the first we're going to do a new chant so everyone listen up. If we have to show up to school every day while people are being killed then we're going to show up to school and we're going to do what we know best and we are going to show everyone that this is what we need. We need justice and we need it now. Oh!